It's David here from Freedom Founders. Let's talk about investments today. You know, there's a lot of talk everywhere on forums and in magazines, uh, everywhere on the internet. Uh, there's courses, classes on how to best invest your money, right? And that's important. We've got to be good stewards of the money we've been blessed to be able to earn in our lives. No question about it. And I'm a big fan of investing the right way. That's what I'm about, Freedom Founders. It's about how to create the replacement income, the passive income to replace your active income so you can, quote, go free and then have a bigger impact, a bigger dent in life. I'm all about that. But here's the construct. The best investment truly is in ourselves. Yeah, that's in you. That's in me. That's our best investment because this CPU right here, this mainframe, this amazing brain that we all were, were gifted by God is something that we don't put to use enough. In other words, we get, we get easily and have been kind of firmly indoctrinated in life about how to use this brain. And, and not to say that that we're not smart and haven't put it to good use so far, but there's so much more that we can do. But we've got to invest more into this CPU and not figure that we have it all figured out so that we need to then be putting our money into other constructs outside of what this brain can do. Personal development is what I'm talking about. Personal development. There's so much more that this brain, this body can do outside of what we've been kind of channeled to do all of our life, the formalized institution of, of our industry, our career path. It just pretty much says robotically, this is the path that you go down. And I've never been one to be to follow the majority. I've always been one to question. I literally question everything. I question everything. I've got to come to my own conclusion. You should do the same thing. Don't take advice from any one person, any one group, any one majority, just because they say that's the way to do it because they've been doing it for years, decades, sometimes centuries, it's not necessarily the way to go. You've got to make your own decisions. How do you do that? Use this right here. How do you make it work better? You've got to surround yourself with people that challenge you, that challenge the status quo, challenge the way you think. Even though you may feel like, well, I'm, I'm pretty darn successful in life. I'm you know, better off and blessed to be better off than many other people around the world. No question, we are blessed. But is that a reason to settle? Is that a reason to become complacent? Not when it's about the right thing. Not when it's about creating real freedom in your life, freedom for you, your family, and then where does that ripple effect go? Into your community, into helping other people on missions. Um, for me, it's I like lo I love giving back and helping the younger generations. Not just in dentistry and not just in real estate. No, I love giving the constructs of what's possible in their lives and not having them feel like they've been constricted into this one pathway that says go to school and take on all this massive debt and then hope you get a job out there to slave away it for the rest of your life. No, no, We've gotta stop that. The world's changed immensely from when these constructs came up yet decades and generations ago. We've got to change the way we think. Surround yourself with people that challenge the status quo because it'll challenge you and make you a better person, not only for yourself, but for the people you want to serve. That's my, that's my soapbox for today. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.